All right, before we begin, I want to say what's up. Welcome back to more Skull and Bones. This is a game that I finished earlier this year, and I wanted to return to it to try out this ghost ship battle that's been in the game since launch, and I have not tried it until now. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for like support if you enjoy this type of stuff. There's also an underwater monster you can fight. It's like the two things I had on, like, my, I guess, to-do list, and this is the first one I wanted to check out. This is a long fight, by the way, so be prepared. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this. All right, so it's been a little bit. Let's go ahead and check this out. So apparently the quest is given by a mysterious rogue. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. Ahoy. All right, it's got oceans apart. This is what I was told at least. All right. Can I actually do this during the day? I've heard you can only do it at nighttime, but let's track it. Only appears. It's rumored to only appear at night. So I wonder if I actually it's have to wait. To the seas for us now. There's no way to like really. Hold on, is it on the map? So it's over here. Interesting. So I just have to wait till nighttime. What level is it? Eight? Okay. I should be able to do this. If I have to wait, I will, but we can go check it out first and just see. Because I really don't know if... Uh... <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty much set up for this. I got the hole breaker still. I haven't really changed anything since I last finished the series, but let's set cell and just check it out. See what we got. Vengeance. Might be a little bit rusty. Probably should have done this when I was actually playing the game. Okay, now it's kind of dark. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm actually kind of nervous because what if I get... What if I find it? The perfect opportunity and then like... <laughs> I get just destroyed. I don't know. I mean, it's not nighttime, technically, but you never know. I just realized I don't have... Wait, did I lose all my stuff since I last played? I just realized I don't have anything for, like, stamina. It's probably not good. I probably should have prepared a little more for this, but... Alright, on the map, we are... Right in here. <laughs> We're chilling. Where are you? This is one of those games that I haven't played in a while, but I was kind of wondering how it was actually doing for everybody. Like, do people still play this game? I don't know. <laughs> Live service stuff is always fun. Oh, we're getting out of the area. So I have to probably just wait. Because, I mean, the fact that it says the ship is going to only appear at night and it's like kind of grayed out, I feel like it's... Basically, like, hey, just so you know, you're wasting your time. I'll give it, like, a couple more minutes. Maybe, like, one more minute. Because I feel like it would have popped up by now. I mean, there's a ship over there, but is that... I feel like that's outside of the area. Yeah, it would just be over here. Yeah, okay. Let's just go wait. I'll transition. Give me one second. All right, let's see if we can do this now. It's officially nighttime. What's funny is I did the intro, and then all of a sudden there was, like, an update. So I had to wait. <laughs> Set cell. I heard this is a long fight, but I've not seen it yet. So there was two things I want to check out in the game over time. And that's this, and apparently there's like some underwater monster you can fight. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can even do this. I went and got some coconuts too. I have 66. <laughs> All they do is just give you extra stamina, but I kind of need those because you run out so quickly. I'm assuming it's officially nighttime. I wish it was like other Ubisoft games where you could just like... I mean, it kind of looks... Uh, actually... Oh, there it is! Wait. Is that it? That doesn't look like a ghost ship. Should I attack first? <laughs> We're hostile now. Let's get this. Uh-oh, they know I'm here. Immune? Wait, what? Oh, this is so sick. So you can't do damage, got you. Maybe I gotta shoot the weak points, the little skulls, and then... That's a freaky noise, my goodness. So it can damage me, but I can't damage it, got you.
Assuming you just do damage to these, this has to be the right thing. It's clearly a ghost ship. Oh wait, you can attack it now! Is that a flamethrower? Oh my god. Alright, I'm getting cooked right now. Hold on. What kind of status effect is that? It's not fire. Yo, that's such a freaky noise. I'm like on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> this is like the best thing in this entire game. Ow. What in the world? Look at that damage. Uh. Yeah, I'm getting cooked right now. I might need to play range a little bit. Because I'm on fire and... I'm doing, like, nothing to this thing. Holy. Alright. The weak point's on the side, but I'm scared to get, like, next to it. Hold on. Nice. Might be too far back. Ship it away. Let's get this. So I'm able to do damage over time. Interesting. That's too far back. This is the thing I'm worried about. Yeah, I'm getting cooked right now. Hold on. I haven't upgraded my ship since I finished the actual series, so I'm stuck with whatever I ended with. <laughs> Fire muskets! A bit of bonus damage there. Take some of that off. Okay, we're chilling. Oh my god. That's a scary noise. It really is. It's like a screeching or whatever. Go forward. No, you're going the other way. You're supposed to walk into the damage. Come on. What about ram damage? Let's try it. Can I even ram? Let's see. I really don't even know what you actually get for fighting this thing. This we'll find out here in a minute. I'm just sitting here taking so much damage. This is such a cool instance, man. I knew this was in the game, I just didn't think it'd be like this. This is so, like, supernatural, you know? Love it. Oh, that... Okay, I can see, like, the build of the, uh... Or the build-up of, like, the fire. Whatever that ghost fire is. I don't know. <laughs> That's too far back, I think. You know, if I keep my distance, we're doing decent damage? I've heard this thing is extremely tanky, so the fact that we're even, like, this far in, I'm already excited, you know? I'm 
I'll repair really quick. Please get hit. Please get hit. There we go. A little bit of damage. Chip it away. Oh, wait. Uh. Oh, there it is. It can teleport. And it's immune again. Okay, got you. Is this like phase two? Oh, no. We got to... Hold on. Kind of destroy the sides, but it's going to hit everything, so it's going to keep staying immune. Even though I am hitting those. There's one. Okay, now I can do damage. Turn around into that, please. Nice, let's go. About as much damage as I can do right now. Getting cooked right now. Wait a minute. Fire muskets. We're like close to halfway right now, I feel like. It looks kind of halfway. What happens if like it turns the daytime randomly? Like, let's say the... Maybe it's part of a mission. Maybe we're safe. I don't know. <laughs> Man, this is like... You know I uninstalled this game after I finished it? I haven't played it since, and it's just been more of like a... Back of my mind thing I want to try one day. And I'm so happy I'm doing it now. This is so sick. I feel like playing further away is just better, but I also don't want to like get too far away where it resets the boss fight. If that can even happen, I don't know. Use the front gun a little bit. Fire muskets. Pretty good damage so far. Nice. Man, whatever that is that's being shot at me is absolutely cooking me right now. Man, can you imagine not knowing that this thing even existed and you're just like out farming, doing whatever you're doing, and you just run into this? That has to have happened to somebody at least. This is going way too fast. Let me turn around a little bit. I'm going way too fast right now. Ah, uh, let it too far, I think. Okay, this immune against teleporting. All right. Where to? Where to? Where to? Oh, there we go. Woo, I was worried it went away. I guess like the sun's like slowly coming out right now. All immune. Hold on, let me get close. So at least like you do like one of those gone. And then you can do damage. It's going away again. Yeah, okay. Way too far away. I gotta get closer. The ship's built for like close quarters anyway. Like the ram damage and all that. Where are you? There we go.
There we go. How you doing? Throwing everything I got at it right now. I don't want to get the other ships involved. That would be like an absolute nightmare. Oh, how you doing? Put a spawn trapping right here. Oh no, I'm about to get spotted by the other ship. I'm pretty sure it's going to try to attack me as well. Oh no. Well, this turned into a nightmare already. If this wasn't already bad enough, let me go this way. I come in peace. I'm only here for the ghost ship. Yeah, come this way, come this way. Way too far back. All right, we did some damage there. Let's get the other side. A little bit of that. No? Oh, I'm out of the... Uh, oh, oh my god. The worst thing just happened. I'm out of cannonballs. No way. You've got to be kidding. Oh, this is so bad. I can't do any... Wait. I'm not sure. Uh, it seems like I've messed up already. The only thing I could do... Yeah, I have exact... Man, this is not good. I can only do that. I might be here a minute. I'm going to try some ram damage. Hold on. That did a good chunk right there. Let's just try to do this. This is going to hurt both of us, but... I can't believe I actually ran out. That's insane. And I can't, like, stop. Fire muskets. This is the most unfortunate thing that could have happened. It's so weak. I wonder if I can board it. I didn't think about that. Like, if it gets so weak, I can just, like... Wait, so I have... I'm so confused. Why does this side work? Because I have zero of everything except the L1, which is the, uh, that thing, I guess. All right, so I had to get back to this spot again because I ran out of cannonballs, so. <laughs> and I don't have a lot right now on me. I got like 600. I hope it's enough to get it done, but we'll see. It sounds like it's a lot, but let's see how this goes first. Try to utilize this cannon a little bit more. Okay, it's going away. Immune. Okay, that's fine. Let me get closer. Hold on. I'm going to like make my shots count a little bit more instead of just like shooting into whatever. Doing pretty good damage right now, actually. Immune, okay. Man, I want to get this done so bad. I had to wait till nighttime again, which kind of took a little longer than I expected. Alright, it's immune. Now it's not. We're chilling. I can just, like, make that hit. Help a little bit on damage. I gotta get closer for the muskets. Hold on. Get closer. Oh, get away.
All right, so far so good. Feeling a lot better than last time. We're just gonna teleport again. That's fine. We should be able to do this as long as it doesn't go away, because I know it can go away once the daylight fully comes out. There we go. I did that way too early. Wait, wait. It might still connect. We heard the scream, so that means it's uh, not immune anymore. I believe that's what that means. <laughs> This is a very tanky boss, my goodness. That's right, going away again, that's fine. So close, yet so far away. Mute again, that's fine. Uh, repair kit. Hostile takeover, that's not good. I don't need other stuff popping up. Why is it missing? It's like right there on the weak spot. There we go. It keeps, like, teleporting a lot more frequent, I feel like, as the battle goes on. Pretty decent damage. So close. Nice, let's get it. My goodness. We got a lot of stuff from that. My goodness, that was intense. All right, let's go turn the quest in. Let's see, deliver it back. How far away are we even from that area? Oh, it's right there. Go ahead and mark it. All right, well, that went from taking, what, one try to... I had to, like, reset. Go get cannonballs, wait for it to be nighttime. It's about an hour. <laughs> it all worked out, though. After editing, it'll look like one swift go, I'm sure. But yeah, thank you all for supporting this type of stuff. There's also a... There's, like, some kind of... I'm not sure if it's a mission or just something that just pops up. There's apparently, like, an underwater monster you can fight. I don't know what it is, but... Wouldn't mind trying to fight that if this video does well. I may check that out in, like, the next one, but... If this is the last Skull and Bones video I do, thank you all for watching. That was a really cool fight. I was honestly impressed. I'd heard about the ghost ship, avoided anything about it. I didn't want to, like, get spoiled. I wanted to kind of go in without knowing anything. I'm just thankful that, hey, if I hadn't have farmed the way I did during the series to get this ship, to just, like, upgrade as much stuff as I possibly can, I would have been in a world of hurt because that would have won probably expired I wouldn't be able to do like enough damage but on top of that I'm just happy that I was able to actually kill it I did it solo which was kind of nice so yeah, I'm gonna rest here man that was awesome I wonder what you get for this like mission we got the precision drilling bit I know that those are like really really rare uh, and they're also used like craft like certain cannons are like top of the line so happy I did it happy I reinstalled this game to check it out the only other thing I really want to see in this game is that monster fight. And I'll kind of just see if I want to do that yet. I may kind of like look it up and see if it's a long thing or if it's like a mission or just like a random encounter. I have no idea. All right, here is the rogue. All right. What? Submit. See if we get anything for it. Okay. Just currency. No dialogue. No, hey, thanks for taking out the ghost ship. Any of that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'll say I had a lot of fun covering this. Thank you all for joining me on this video. It was just a boss fight, but I'm really happy I did it. The ghost ship aspect of this game was not something I expected to enjoy as much. The way it teleported, the noises it made. I mean, there's just a lot going on. You also have the worry of other ships. They can, like, pop up and shoot you. You got other factions around the area. You had, the, like, the world event. I had a tidal wave at one point during the second run, uh, and it was kind of stressful, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, love you all. Thanks for all the support. Take it easy. Peace.